Okay, so it is question and answer time tonight. Somebody got a question? Yeah. You talk about the three archetypes uh, for comedic characters. Can you talk more, go a little bit more into that? Yeah, it, it seems that there's there's real three archetypes. They're not really characters. They're like bigger than characters. They're not quite stereotypes, but they're archetypes. They're they're a type. They're, there's three types that seem to be in stand-up comedy, and and those are. Uh, Teacher, peer, and fool. Okay, those are teacher, peer, and fool. Teacher are people that come out and give you lessons. They, they kind of teach you something uh, about uh, George Carlin would be like, like a teacher, more of a sage, kind of teaching us things and showing us, etc., etc., teaching us some lessons and things like that. Uh, there's many others that come out with like of lessons and so on and so forth. Peer is the person who tries to kind of relate to us. Oh, the, this is what we all kind of go through. Notice this. We deal with this. You've seen this before, etc. Uh, I think Jerry Seinfeld is a good example of that, his stand-up. He's always pointing out the things that we already see, and he's being a peer. Hey, here's all these things that we run into all the time that I'm seeing humor in that you're not. So he's a peer. He's trying to relate to us uh, because of our commonalities. The last one is a fool. Uh, the fool, the, well, one of the great fools is uh, Steve Martin's character in stand-up, the jerk, right? His character is a fool, or his wild and crazy guy, all those things. Those are all fools. They think they're cool, right? But we as the audience look at them. So uh, those are the three, so that, that when you're on stage, especially as beginners, kind of start to notice, oh, well, which one do I have a tendency to be? Am I, am I trying to teach the audience something and, and a little lesson behind it and so on and so forth? Am I trying to relate to people in our commonality or am I trying to make them laugh because my character it, it doesn't get it, it, misses a lot of information and stuff. And these also can be switched during a show as well. So, you know, so, uh, I always found like Bill Hicks sometimes was a teacher and sometimes was a peer. But rarely was, if at all, was he a fool, okay? And then some people are, you know, go back and forth between fool and sage or teacher, etc., etc. But for each routine that you're doing, what's your role? What's, what archetype are you coming from? Are you there to try to use your material to kind of teach us something? Uh, are you using material to relate to us in some way? Or uh, are, are you being the fool to make me to, to help the audience laugh at the, the idios, idiocy of you and humanity in general? Yeah.